In this video, I'm going to show you what to do after one of your partners caches one of your decoys with a 3 inch round of fast steel. Hi Megan folks, my name is Vinny and this channel is all about the outdoors, centered around hunting and fishing, encouraging people to get outdoors, try new things, and make some new memories. Uh, sorry if I sound a little nasally, I don't normally sound like this, but I'm just uh, getting over a little something something, so let's get right down into it. So I'm sure we've all been there. It's finally duck season. You head out with your buddies. You get all set up. Decoys are spread out nice. You got a nice blonde all dressed up. You've been waiting for it all year. You look at your watch and realize, hey, it's shooting light. So you announce that to your buddies. And then one of your partners jumps up, yells duck, and unloads a couple rounds into one of your plastic decoys, which had uh, no chance of flying away to begin with. Or one of your buddies jumps up with his grandpa's old shotgun and he named old Pappy and takes a swing at a snipe that's flying right across your decoys and caches one of these plastic duck buddies in the head. Now your decoy's taking on water and sinking like the Titanic on its maiden voyage. But regardless of how your decoy got 37 holes in it, there's a, there's a few ways you can take care of it. One being, you can take a hot glue gun, you can fill all the holes with the hot glue, or you can melt the plastic around the holes, fill that in, but uh, you can also use silicone does pretty much the same thing. So the silicone and the hot glue ought to get you through a few more hunts until your, your buddy pops another shot in there, then you're back to square one. I prefer a more permanent, excuse me, permanent, permanent. I prefer, prefer crap, English is tough. I prefer a more permanent solution. Using this expanding foam weather sealant that comes in a can is multiple different brands, ranging anywhere from, I guess, five to $10 a can, depending on the brand and the size of the can. I'll leave a link in the description below of uh, where you can pick up a few of these off of Amazon, uh, different brands and such. But So the first step to repairing one of your decoys that got shot full of holes as well to add another hole. Who the thought? Now this first hole is going to be multi-purpose. First of all, we're going to need to get all of these BBs out of here. So I'm just going to drill the hole right here, right below his keister. And that's going to allow us to get all of these BBs out the back here. Kind of like a puzzle game. Oh, I think that's it. All right, so after you got all the BBs out, uh, the next step is to, well, drill more holes. So we're gonna put one right up here, kind of close to the head, up to the front. Like that. Try not to drill all the way through the decoy to the other side. Then I'm gonna put one probably about midway right here. Whoops. And I'm gonna show you why that is. What we're doing is making holes to where we can fit the straw from this can to spray the foam up in there. Now I like to have that one way up front. Whoa, hey, this thing is coming in pieces and parts. All right. So anyway, I like to have that one kind of up front because I like to try and fill the head with the foam too. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna stick this way down in there, up in the head. Woo we're just gonna fill it with the foam, boys. Oh yeah. Now this stuff does expand three times uh, what you're spraying in there, so keep that in mind. I'm just gonna work my way back up. Probably putting a little bit more than I need to. And then we're just gonna fill up from this back side here, right in the keister. Give them a foam enema. Just toss this excess off. I'll regret that later. All right, now that we got them all filled up, it's time to let it sit and it's going to expand and we've got to wait for it to cure, which I think this can said it takes about three hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set them right side up like that. Just let them sit there. That way all the foam will settle towards the bottom and expand up. That way if I missed any spots in there and I got any air pockets, that way it'll stay to the bottom and it'll help prevent it from uh, tipping over or wanting to rock or lean the wrong way. So. Alright, so while we're waiting for the foam to expand and cure and do its thing, uh, if you guys are getting any value whatsoever out of this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit the old thumbs up button, let me know about it. And uh, in addition to the how-tos and product reviews and things like that, uh, we also have a bunch of hunting and fishing vlogs on this channel. So if you're into that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. So it's been a few hours, the foam had a chance to do its thing, it did some expanding and some drying, so now the next step all we're going to do is just cut off the excess that's oozed out of the bottom. Just got me a razor knife right here. Just going to cut that right there and that should pop off. I'm just cutting it even right at the hole. As you can see, just, just cutting that off. 
even light. Even got one that popped out one of our little bullet holes. There you go. So really that's it. I'm just cleaning up the excess foam. You could uh, put a little bit of paint on it. They don't really need to. It's fine just like that. So there you go. Now it's ready to go back hunting. You don't have to get rid of your decoy or your buddy. But that's pretty much it, guys. A simple fix, a permanent fix for your uh, shot up decoy. Now you can toss them right back out there. And if you get shot again, it'll just keep on going. Well, that's going to do it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it that thumbs up button. Let me know about it. I'm going to go ahead and clean this mess up before the wife finds out. And uh, while I'm doing that, why don't you check out one of these two videos? Until next time. But, uh,. Till then, get outdoors, try new things, and make new memories, because that's what it's all about.